Is it odd to anyone else that we live in a society where there is a trend cycle around our travel drinking containers? That's it. That's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda, you're watching Salon Entertainment, and today we are doing another What's Not a Cult But Feels Like a Cult Stanley Cup Edition. I recorded this before we realized there was a mic issue, so we are using the camera audio for this video to avoid the skipping, but that is why there is a horrific echo. It's been a while since we've done a What's Not a Cult But Feels Like a Cult video. There just hasn't been anything that I really got fired up about. There's things that make me concerned about the future of society. That video of people behaving like the walking dead over a Stanley Cup deal at Target. The LV, you got up early for the Target Stanley release. <laughs> Concerning, frankly. There's been things like that lately, okay, but there's nothing that I can feasibly trace back to TikTok. And that is entirely what I think we can blame the Stanley Cup situation on. Now, last year, a bunch of you wanted me to make a video on water talk, water TikTok. It's a thing. The thing is, is that a bunch of creators made videos on water TikTok. And unless I feel I have something to add or it's exciting for me to talk about, or, you know, I feel I have a different perspective than other creators, I try to do something a little bit different than the other creators. Like there have been times where I'm like, ah, I shouldn't make a video on that. And then I see other creators make a video on it and I'm like, I could have been first because I would have made that video a month ago. But as a refresher for those of you that weren't on the Water Talk hype train, Water Talk was about typically women, female creators, uh, taking typically their Stanley Cup and making water for the day, including a bunch of syrups, sometimes um, like those powdered juice packets or whatever, and basically making potions as adult women, um, which I'm not against, you know, making potions in adulthood. I fully believe in side quests to live a healthy and fulfilled life in adulthood, like, cause we all suffer under capitalism. We might as well do the fun stuff in the mix. Okay, throw it in there, okay? And if drinking sugar water is what gets you through the day, all right. I do worry about your teeth. I do worry about your intestinal health. I worry about your stomach lining. I did see one with charcoal in it and I was like, okay, I thought we learned about the potential ramifications of just eating charcoal. At the very least, if you were on the pill, uh, it will make it ineffective. Be warned, uh, any medication you're on, it's gonna line your stomach. They give it to you when you're in the hospital for when you're poisoned, essentially, okay? Uh, don't just drink it, because it looks cool. Stanley Cups have been a frenzy for a while on TikTok. I would say they've been a good, one of the more persistent trends. One of the it girl, you know, things to have. Me bringing up like the trendification and the trend cycle of uh, the water container is literally because I remember when you were a boring basic bitch if you did not have a hydro flask. Forget even the visco girls, okay? Forget, forget that whole thing. If you didn't have a hydro flask, I did cross country in high school. Shocking, I know. I dislocated my knee twice. Don't, don't, don't get excited. I truly don't think you were like officially in varsity, okay? Until you had a hydro flask. You weren't cool until you had a hydro flask. And that sounds crazy now looking back. Even in college, hydro flasks as well. And now we're on to Stanley Cups, even though Stanley Cups have been around for a very long time. Stanley Cups in particular, from where I was very familiar with them, was like people in my life that were construction workers, they loved those things, specifically the travel mugs, love those. A lot of like my friends that go camping, they, they were really big with the Stanley Cups in the camping scene, okay? But as far as like day-to-day, -day, cool person, it water receptacle, okay? Um, the Stanley Cup was not that. It is entirely TikTok, okay? That I think we can chalk it up to, you know, making it seriously super cool, okay? It's too early in the year for a copyright claim. They're playing popular from Wicked. If I were to compare this to any of the other products slash things that we've talked about that have been included in the What's Not Cool, it feels like a cult series. I would probably compare this to Ray Dunn because some of these collections are getting out of hand and now we have officially the Target Frenzy, 
Whereas with Ray Dunn, it was home good frenzies <laughs> footage. I think it's an employee that got it of them filming from behind the Stanley Cup display, like hiding behind an aisle as if they are filming like the literal zombies coming at them. Crazy. <laughs> when I saw that video, I thought someone had set off a fire, like a, a firework in an aisle and people were like scrambling to get away from it or something. Like I, I it was like the, the initial and then I was like, oh my God, it's Stanley Cups. Really? Now, I gotta check the dates on this, the Target videos that I have particularly seen. I don't know when they were shared or when they were filmed. I think it was the post-holiday restock, maybe, okay? Because a lot of the holiday hauls that I've been seeing on TikTok have included, at least for the young teen girls, okay? Because I'm gonna be honest, I'm one of those people, I love watching rich kid holiday hauls. Does it make me feel bad about my personal finances and the fact that I opted out of Christmas a little bit? If I ever do start feeling feeling too bad about myself but watching those, I just remind myself that I don't have to go through middle school again. And I feel better. Even um, the not rich kid holiday hauls, okay. A lot of these are including a Stanley Cup as well. I saw a couple of posts where it was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I just got my daughter uh, a Stanley Cup and all the stuff and she's like freaking out. You would have thought I bought her a car or what have you. <laughs> I do think that as far as like products go, it could be worse. Like it literally could be like, there's a whole, apparently a whole side quest apparently uh, for uh, under 14 year olds where they just decide they're going to start like running a Sephora like the Navy and being absolute menaces to society at the same time to employees. Where are you getting this money? I get, I just talked about rich kids and all of that, but like, I don't understand, like I, I don't go to Sephora on the regular, why are you? I'm just trying to understand. Stanley Cups that I used to see in mass, all right, at Target, at Walmart, where else did I see it at? Costco? Sometimes, not really though. Like, I'm like just cups that I would just see around, you know, are now flying off the shelves. Specifically, the one cup, okay? The big, tall drinking cup, because you can fit a lot in there. And I guess I should be glad that like y'all are hydrated. I guess that's that's like the like as far as cult like behavior goes, at least this one leads to hydration, a, a slightly healthier intake level. That's great. I think that's good. This is my water bottle. It's not a cold girl water bottle. It is a Nalgene, made in USA. Okay, it's got the measurements on the side. Um, and it's got TikTok branding all over it because I got it for free at VidCon from the TikTok lounge. So what everyone freaked out about in the Target video was the Valentine's Day drop from Target for Stanley Cup. The Quencher H2O tumbler is the 40 ounce one that everyone is obsessed with. It looks like this, William, you can put them up here. These are $45 and it's like the big, it's like a big gulp. You know, there's a lot of versatility. The skinny bottom is great for sticking in your car, okay? For cup holders, things like that. Typically when I do a what's on a gulp, it feels like a gulp video, I try to achieve the item in question. Um, however, for this video, I did decide to film it about 18 hours ago and I just haven't had time to go and you know elbow a mom at Target to get a Stanley Cup so um, you will have to forgive me this time next time I will I will come correct I promise now the thing with the Stanley Cups is that a lot of people do complain about their leak situation they do occasionally leak from the top and so people can about it obviously and so this is from natalia rice this is from literally a year ago to almost the day of me recording this um someone in the comment section said i don't give a shit if my cup leaks i'm not flipping my cup upside down if i want something that doesn't leak i'll use my hydro flask am i the only one that doesn't walk around with my cup upside down please i wouldn't spend over 20 dollars for a damn cup anyways okay i don't think i can play this video because brenda carpenter's feathers in the background so i'm going to talk over this video come with me to get the new stanley cup they are lined up outside of target in this video i did not see the line was so long and it was so cold what happened to album releases like this my target had them behind the counter literally hiding them i see them <laughs> and they've got all this target the the cup stacked up i can't believe i'm running for a stanley cup. i got mine secured but now they starting to argue. Mission completed. People are literally holding up their hydro flask to the cameras like they're showing bands. Listen, as a red girly, I get it, okay? Especially pink girlies go hard, okay? The plum color looks nice. I am a purple girly, okay? But like this is excessive.
And she's definitely a red girl. This woman in particular, she's got, she's literally monochromatic. Her, her sweaters uh, red. Her nails are red. Her hydro flask is red. I get it. Okay, I get the hype. So I'm terrified because according to TikTok, I have been cleaning my Stanley all wrong. The girl I saw on TikTok took this part off of her Stanley and it had a shitload of mold on it. I have never taken this off. I didn't think you could take it off. I thought it just slid over like that. So I'm gonna do that today and hopefully not reveal something disgusting. I've been drinking out of that. The other thing about water talk that concerned me as well, and there is a story, I'm gonna pull up this article because I think it's important. Um, a woman got a fungal infection, I believe. Also, sorry if I knocked the desk, okay? It's here. I talk with my hands. Sometimes I have to slam the desk for pronunciation, enunciation, words, thought. So I'm sorry, okay? I'm getting used to it. It's a work in progress. So this is from the New York Post from Alexander Klossner. My water bottle landed me in the ER. It was poisoning me for weeks. Um, she can't bottle up her feelings any longer. K, a 19-year-old college student from Athens, Georgia, is sharing a tale of caution after improper cleaning of her mold-filled reusable Awala water bottle made her sick. K posted a video on TikTok where she goes by Kbri, detailing her ordeal with what has since gained more than 3.3 million views since being posted five days ago. She explained that she forgot to take the silicone stopper out of her water bottle, which she suspected was the culprit of her illness. Hey, this is a PSA to anyone who owns an Owala. I got sick in August, I had a cold that minor, you know? Lasted a week and then didn't go away. Went to urgent care. Bronchitis, she said in the video. I have had bronchitis, it is not fun. It lasts for 9,000 years. You just sound like death. It, it's hard to sleep. It's genuinely horrific. Of course, they give me an inhaler and then pills and I, of course, break out in hives as a result of the pills. I have also done that. Are we the same person? Bronchitis takes longer than it should to go away, though she finally got better after three weeks, but then was promptly greeted with a sinus infection. God, my bronchitis literally lasted like two months. It took me forever to get over that. She returned to the urgent care and got antibiotics and subsequently said she spent about a week and a half feeling illness-free before getting sick again. She said she just had a cold and lasted three weeks and eventually had the worst sore throat of my life. She went to urgent care for the fourth time in one school semester, at which time she shared the doctor looked at her throat and said, oh my goodness, it's a really angry throat. Are you in pain? First of all, I know I don't clean it as much as I should. No one does. I know it's full of bacteria. She said she cleaned the bottle, followed by the lid, which she had to Google regarding how to clean properly and then discovered that people in online forums like Reddit and the silicone piece of the water bottles had to be removed. I didn't know it came out, covered in mold that had embedded itself into the silicone. She subsequently ordered a replacement on Amazon and her bottle is as good as new. Once I cleaned it, got better. Haven't gotten sick since. I had mold poisoning from my water bottle. Now you have to be cleaning your cups, okay? You have to clean these things. You have to clean your Brita filter cups, okay? You have to clean your uh, Simple Modern cups, your Stanley cups, your, your Hydro Flask. There are cup cleaners that are literal brushes that are like literally almost look like toilet brushes, but they get in there and they deep clean everything, okay? Get one of those. Forget the concoctions that people put in on Water Talk, okay? Even just water, if you run out of water and then you let it sit, okay, like say this is empty, okay, I let it sit, that condensation that just traps in there can grow stuff, okay? You drinking out of it, you are introducing a foreign body into the cup that's not water, whether you realize it or not, that can grow stuff, okay? I am not a microbiologist or a chemist or whatever the word would be, okay? But I just clean it, ugh, clean it, gross, okay, all of it. So here's someone cleaning, literally, the reason I brought this up is because this person is cleaning what looks to be 9,000 Stanley cups because you never just have one really. I think that's the thing as well, is with the Stanley Cups, is someone used the word public consumption or consumption as like a form of status and how typically this is a something for wealthy people, but I think in the age of the influencer, now it's become like a big deal. Like, oh yeah, of course I have this SD card holder that looks like a skull. Of course I have it, because Swell has it, so I got it. Zendaya has it too, okay? <laughs> we love Zendaya in this house. The idea that there are certain products that you can buy that make you better than other people is 
getting out of hand and it's gotten out of hand before okay this isn't new there are things where it's like oh yeah you're not cool if you don't have this okay but it's gotten to such a widespread to the point that people are sprinting through targets and breaking boycotts to buy the starbucks stanley cup collab that launch happened after i had filmed this video that's why it has not been mentioned so far a little much we're taking a step into an insane space. Again, with the Stanley Cups, it's never just one. This person has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Stanley Cups, an insane amount. They have cops, they have security there. They have an employee there handing people the cups to make sure they don't panic and they have security there. Insane. Something I wanna note about the Stanley Cup as well is um, they did something very nice. The actual company Stanley Cup, forget this, forget um, raining hellfire down on Target employees. There was a TikTok user, okay, who shared a video about their Stanley Cup. Everybody's so concerned about if the Stanley spills. But what about if it melts? It's in a fire yesterday. It still has ice in it. Stanley duetted this and said, we will never do this again, but we would like to get you a new car. My name is Terrence Riley. I'm the president of Stanley, we've never done this before and we'll probably never do it again, but we'd love to replace your vehicle. And they just delivered the car, I think a week or so ago, right before Christmas. I've never had a brand new car in my entire life. It made me feel really comfortable and made me love the company even more. Now that is one, an incredible way for a brand to stitch a company. As far as marketing goes, impeccable phenomenal PR because that's a one-time thing. This is a user that is speaking highly of your product and showing that it works. And also the marketing of, you know, literally getting a car. It's a one-time purchase thing. And people bought even more Stanley Cups because of how they responded. Incredible. Not just doing like a, hey, we heard your car got burnt down. No, it's literally someone sitting there talking to the camera, explaining why they were going to buy the car. As like hype machines go, I'm cool with that. That's really cool. And if like I could trace the hype back to that instance, I think I would be a little more understanding of the hype, but the hype around it literally is just social media hype. That got them a lot of sales, Do that whole situation, okay? And doing that good deed and all of that, that got them a lot of sales, which I don't think is inherently bad, but two things can we do be true at once. They did something good and they also saw a lot of money by doing something good. I think those two things can coexist. But the Stanley Cup craze is not tied to that because it was happening before that. The Target videos, this is the first time I've seen it. I don't know if there has been other instances of people becoming literal frenzy people over cups. If that's been caught on camera before, I don't know. But the fact that it's like at least dozen different targets that I can see experiencing this is just insane. Like it's, it's, it's too much. It's getting to a point. I want you to tell me if you have a Stanley Cup right now, if you own one, okay, and you're watching this and you're like, oh, this bitch, okay, one, hi. Two, I want you to tell me why you like the Stanley Cup, okay? And I don't just want you to tell me that you like it because it's cool on TikTok and influencer that you likes have it, which is, I would normally say a valid thing. It's like, oh, so-and-so recommended it to me and I trust their opinion. That's one thing, but I want you to give me like legitimate reasons as to why you like it other than like the implied social currency that you now have because you own the big Stanley Cup. Forget even the holiday ones, forget the Valentine's Day ones. Why do you like your your big stanley cup okay the 40 ounce 45 dollar one tell me why you like it Le comment down below please okay i will accept things like color um its ability to transport liquid okay uh, how it fits in with your work life your day-to-day -day life things like that tell me why you like it genuinely would love to hear it truly and what made you buy it originally and if the answer is tiktok made me buy it i will accept it okay but i just want to know why you the people watching this like your Stanley Cup. I'm just trying to understand the frenzy because I have liked quite a few things in an unchill way, okay, in my life. I have an addictive personality. It's not shocking, okay? But there's never been, in my opinion, a time in my life where I felt the need to sprint through a target for a physical 
thing. Like we didn't even get that during Black Friday sales. Like we got none of that during Black Friday. And like I know that's been a, become a meme, like how Black Friday sales just kind of suck this year. Um, but like literally nothing the last few years has been like frenzy worthy, even before the boycotts and everything. I get it if you're a certified lover girl and you're like, oh my God, the Valentine's Day collection. Yes, I get that. But like cups, they're not even like a fun heart shaped, like, like, like they don't even look, like if the cups were that shape, then I might get it. I'd be like, that is cute as hell. I get it, something fun. But no, it's just the cup in a colorway. Amanda here again. Um, I'm on camera this time because this one, I wanna make sure that you hear me. I've seen some people say that the mocking slash criticism of Stanley Cup frenzy is because it's mostly being enjoyed by women, that we inherently mock things that women like. I do think that is a problem in a lot of things. I don't think that's the case here. No one has one Stanley Cup, it seems. There's a very insane frenzy around the hoarding of the Stanley Cup. I think this is a mocking of like consumerism on a trendification insane level, okay? Frankly, I would have understood this argument more prior to the Valentine's Day collaboration color launch, okay? Then maybe I could understand oh, you're just criticizing them because women can't enjoy things or something. People are sprinting through targets. People are arguing with each other. People are arguing with target employees and the like. That's ridiculous. That's not let women enjoy things. That's, we've lost the plot. That's, that's going to be it for now. I'm sure there will be something else um, because I think they have a couple other drops happening in the next couple of months for various holidays, which will be, something please just if you are doing this be respectful of employees be respectful of the people around you do not elbow people if someone falls down help them up you know be be a human being is is the hope do you have a stanley do you like stanley's do you want a stanley do you know a tween in your life who went feral over getting a stanley let me know comment down below reminder i have a podcast a social chance podcast reminder that uh swell entertainment is now available on spotify reminder i'm now streaming on twitch reminder that i have merch shout out to my patrons thank you so much for supporting me on patreon if you'd like to support me on patreon leave this down below like comment on social media that'll be all up here and that's going to have all the day goodbye My stomach just growled, I need to eat. Dira, Amy, Andrew, Angel, Aslan, Cameron, Corey, Donnie, Elliot, Glenn, Goth, Jasmine, Kenny, Lauren, Literal, Madeline, Mae West, Medic, Micah, Michael, Nathan, Palace, Pink, Cordy, Rachel, Randy, Robert, Rosie, Ryan, Sam, Skylar, Tasha, Tenzin, Thomas, Heavenly, Victor, Winter, Zwink.